taking a look at this Proterra here, it's not good. You never want to see this in a stock that you're looking to buy. That's going the the wrong way. Okay, you generally want stocks that go from the bottom left to the upper right. All right, so that's going the opposite way. But look, if you're got your if you're intent on buying this thing and you've got your heart set on it, uh, you could maybe do. Look, maybe where do you want to get in? You want to get in here? I guess. Why not? I guess you could uh, figure this is your low. Let's turn on the volume here. I guess. Eh, don't worry about that. It doesn't even matter. This isn't going anywhere. Uh, actually, yeah. Let's look here. Let's get this volume to see. What do we got here? Yeah, look at no volume whatsoever. So even if you wanted to do this, okay, even if you wanted to do this, there's your, you know, and if you think that this is the low, which, yeah, I mean, look, you wanted to see some volume like this, and then I could feel more comfortable, but, you know, nothing's perfect. I don't even like this anyway. So if you're going to break the rules of trading by buying a stock that's going like this, I mean, who cares about looking for additional signals like volume confirmation and the rest, right? But if you're going to buy this thing, I would look for certainly putting a stop. Where do you want to put it? Mm, right down here, okay? And then what's your risk? Call that I guess you could do it at right at six bucks, huh? Six bucks, and it's at six fifty ish right now. So you're risking fifty cents on a six dollar stock. That's less than ten. So you know you could make you could make a trade out of that if you wanted to. Uh, I wouldn't. I think this is a silly idea. I know that this is a silly idea from buying stocks that are going like this. I, I know that's a bad idea. I've been there. I used to do that. Uh, I used to do that, and that amounted to me living in my parents basement for a long time well into my adult life because i bought stocks that did this no more not anymore because that got real old real quick so now you know i prefer to buy stocks like this because you know i like having my own place don't want to move back into the basement but you know if you already live there and uh or you know you you like your mom's cooking you could buy stocks that do this that would be be okay you know because cooking and washing dishes is a lot of work as it turns out so you know i don't blame you but listen where are you going to want to look to get out of this thing uh let's check it out where where are you going to go if you know you like your mom's cooking this is the mom's cooking trade you're going to want to get out of this thing, call it, you know, if you do get a move up, which I doubt, but anything is possible. Look, what is that? That's called, what kind of a price is there? Eight bucks? Eight twenty-five-ish at the most, right? So you could take up a 650. Let's say you don't get any kind of weakness and it's an easy trade right up to eight twenty-five-ish. So there you're talking a dollar and a half, a dollar and three quarters, right? Maybe something like that. Uh, that would be about it for this one. Don't forget now. Do not forget. You got to put your stop down here, right? Because you don't want to be in this thing if this happens, okay? And this quickly becomes a four, three dollar stock. You want no part of that. All right. Thanks for watching Paul Parra Merchants.